I got next. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Season 3, Episode 9, Let's Go of the Street Fighter I Got Next Community Podcast. It's your host with the most, the man with the play himself, the wind commander himself, Shadow Ace on the ones and twos, and of course, I'll be the moderator for this podcast this evening, joined by my co-host on production, always making sure the vibes are smooth, the mayor of making himself Sir Retro, and of course, as tradition, I want to first thank Sir Retro for agreeing to host this discussion on his platform so if you're not already following the live broadcast channel on twitch hit that follow button to join in on the live shows on twitch because we do interact with the live listeners in the comments for example fgc chris i see you welcome the reason i have assembled you all here this evening is to get your views and opinions on the uh you know local street fighter scene latest entry into the the franchise of street fighter 6 has now has been out about, about six seven months now i mean look how time flies how I have halfway point to one year complete. And this platform is just an opportunity to discuss how you feel about the game, your local scene in general. Has anything changed since the release of Street Fighter VI? We just want to know how the world is feeling about the game at the moment. Each of you may hold different views and opinions towards the game and community in general. So this platform is just an opportunity to express yourself in a constructive manner. I'll start off first by introducing our panel for this evening. I'll go first. My name is Shadow Ace. I am a player, commentator, podcaster, bracket runner, TO, a man of many hats here in the local Atlanta, Georgia, uh, FGC scene. I've uh, been playing fighting games for about over 10 years now, so pretty much a veteran at this point. As you can see with the gray hairs, you know, comes wisdom and experience with age. Uh, so, you know, I'm just still pressing some buttons, yo, and hope to be still competing in, you know, maybe my early, late 50s. Who knows? But uh, for right now, um, yeah, we have... Sir Retro on production. Sir Retro, talk to the good people. Well, 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 what's going on? Well, first of all, huh? You know, some y'all guys should know something a little bit different this time, right? For those, especially those in the stream. Mm. Well, for me, it was new. Different. I can see y'all. I can see my my co-hosts, and of course, what's going on? You see each other. We yeah. see each other. What's going on, man? This we got new upgrades. What's going on? What's happening? Talk to me. Yeah. Okay, what you been up to, man? You been you been plotting? What's going on? Oh yeah, I've been on uh, behind the scenes. Um, a lot more than usual. Working on some new stuff here. But for those who do not know, I introduce myself. I am Sir Retro, um, co the co-host of the excuse me, I, I got next podcast series. Also editor and also um many hats including the Jordan T.O., uh, specifically Reba Rich K. Gaming, Swag Out Nerds, Esports, and of course um, co coach, commentate, compete here and there, um, 
and among many other hats, mainly production and of the podcast series. And as you can see, um, there's some things that are new today for this episode. Um, of course, now you can see our homies. You can see us. Um, that has been a popular demand, apparently. And also, there's other things in the works that we definitely excited to show you, show you guys. Some been teased in the intro, and some has been teased in some posts here and there. But most importantly, though, the main focus for tonight's episode is always in, is going to be our special guest. So, Shadow Ace, can you tell us who is our special guest for tonight? Even though everyone can see, you see, you see, you see the uh, the other gentleman uh, opposite of us. I'm not sure. I don't have the panel in front of me right now, but you see, you heard my intro, you heard Retro's intro, and the third gentleman that will be joining us today is none other than the fiercest of all the Skittles in the bag. Fierce Skittles. How you doing today, sir? What up, everybody? Oh, this is Fierce Skittles. My name is Jermaine. Uh, believe it or not, Jermaine Weiss. And I just... Love playing Street Fighter, man. I really do. I really do, and I'm just glad to be here today. Thank you guys for having me on. Oh, for sure, man. Thank you for taking your time out to, to talk with us, man. It's just, uh, you know, been, been 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 some talks and you know some rumors and things of that, but that nature about how you feel about Street Fighter Six and uh, you know what you looking like in Street Fighter Five. And uh, today, we can just get everything out in the open, man, and just uh, let the world oh, know yeah. how you truly feel, you know? And that's this is what <laughs> oh, this platform no, is all about. It's I'll about expressing you. yourself. Oh, man. I, oh, get, man. I get so many, so many comments about how I feel about Six, and it's like, I can't wait to tell you right now. It's going to be good. It's going to be good tonight. I all promise. right, man. Team? I hope you you at home have got your drinks, got your snacks. I saw Retro, you know, he got a good drink going on. I got a drink on my side here, too, as well. Man, we're here for a good one. So if you missed out on previous episodes, please check it out on Reboot Retrocade's YouTube, uh, Reboot Retrocade's Gaming's YouTube channel for that season playlist for all four episodes. I'll also have it pinned on my Twitter page as well, at Mind of Shadow Ace, as well, for that link. Uh, last episode, we had What's Goody, a DJ player, and uh, Shin Africa, a Chun-Li player, and Six come through for episode eight. But our guest today is the fiercest Skittles in all the bag. Yo, the fiercest Skittles in the bag. Fierce Skittles. First off, first off, I need to know the origin of the tag. Where did the name Fierce Skittles come from? Why, like, like, why are you fierce? Like, why couldn't you be like oh. Fierce Now Laters or Fierce Gummy Bears? Like, what made you choose Skittles? Oh man, I love this one. Okay, so it's 2012 and I'm in my living room just practicing some Chris Redfield combos. Uh, who did I have? Like, it was, I believe there was Virgil in the back. Uh, I think it was, I think it was Chris Wester Virgil. And I just wanted to do as many magnum combos as possible like as many magnum shots to hit as possible i think i did like 1.1 mil damage at the time uh and i was thinking while i was doing these combos i'm like i'm gonna go further in the fgc because this game was like the very first fighting game i ever really got into and wanted to like take take seriously uh I was practicing those combos, but I needed to come up with a name. So I had to think, like, what's, what's an, what would be a name that could be something funny, but at the same time, like, you really got to concern yourself for that guy. And that's when I comboed in Fierce, which is just the heavy, the heavies, because I just wanted, I want to do a lot. I want to do a lot. That's the whole point. To, to let you know. As soon as I can, I want to do a lot. So fierce, the heaviest, and that's where the magnums come in. And then Skittles is my favorite. And Skittles is a funny word, the funny snack. I love it. It's good. And then you just put the two together. Hmm? Yeah. So it's like, uh, and that was it. That was really it. And then the X in the middle was again. It was 2012. So everybody's. X, blah, 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 X, blah, blah, the X, X is all of that. But then we just wanted to make it nice and simple. 
Fierce, Skittles. And then we did everything we could to make that name stick with people. It was fun in the first year. I was like, anytime I go to a tournament, I bring a bag of Skittles. Have it on stream with me if I ever get there. No, that was a good, you, you, that was a good time. You went to, so, so, okay, so ever since you had that name, you started showing up with tournaments with, ba with a bag of Skittles in your hand. Yeah. Is that correct? Bro. Yes. Okay. That's, that's one way to market yourself. You know, you walk through Dedication. the doors, you see a guy holding, holding a bag of Skittles, you already know this you. Exactly. No, this is, a... was that for Skittles? I don't know, maybe. He's got the bag of Skittles, he's just popping Skittles away. <laughs> did, you, did you, now, now, you know what would have been, like, you know what would have been interesting? Like, if you take, I know they sell like those little mini bags of Skittles that you could get like a, a big pack of. And yeah. I was thinking maybe like if you play somebody, you beat them in tournament, you just hand them a bag of the Skittles. Oh, no, exactly. That that, I'm trying to tell you that, dude. No, because one time he, he was beating me up and he called me for <laughs> Skittles and be like, yo, you should give these guys some free Skittles. And I was just like, yo. <laughs> Because that'll balance out the salt. Like, that'll I, balance out the salt with, with the sweetness. It'll be funny. It'll be funny. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So oh, yeah, man. Man, I definitely do uh, appreciate that you uh, coming through, man. Before we dive into the panel, I like to do a little something I like to call like a mind game, which basically is kind of get go. your brain going, get get the gears moving a little bit uh, for the panel before we get started. So I have a I, it's a riddle for you, a riddle for Skittles, a riddle for Skittles right <laughs> now. So. Here's the riddle. You ready for it? Let's go. All right. So there are four numbers in front of you. A man says, mm -hmm. if you take the right one, you win the prize on the other side of the door. Starting from the mm -hmm. left, there's a gold nine, a platinum seven, a bronze three, and a silver one. Which number do you take? I guess I want to take the silver one. Oh dang, that was too easy. I, why would you take the Why would you take the silver one? If you pick the one on the right, you get the one on the side. That wasn't wasn't that other one. Wasn't that the first one you mentioned? Sound like really extravagant. The right one. You you, you didn't want to take the, the right, most obvious the right, choice, right? The right one. The right that, one. That, that, that yes, that was the answer. The answer was in the riddle. Yes. It said, oh, man said, if you take the right one, take the and then right. I said, start from the left. Right. You, you, you pay one. attention. You pay attention. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, I, I see. Hey. I, I saw the DP. It's okay. All right. You, you, you know you had the reads. I see you. All right. So, yeah, dude, we, all right. so we two for two right now on these riddles. I asked someone, uh, what's goody uh, DJ for your last time? He answered it on the first go. So I got to make these a little bit more tougher. So that's a mental, <laughs> mental note for me right there, Retro. All right. Bet. Make, make these a little bit more challenging. But uh, Harder, right. so yeah, let's let's uh, we're just gonna dive right into it, man. Uh, Street Fighter Five. Um, you, we saw the intro. We saw Cammy. Um, you know, somebody may at home was probably scratching their head as to why were they showing uh, Street Fighter Five Cammy and not Street Fighter Six Cammy. Well, we're uh, Skittles, yo. Now is your chance to uh, get it out there. Like, why why did we see Street Fighter Five Cammy? Why did why didn't we see Street Fighter Six Cammy? Hmm. Street Fighter Five was a masterpiece. It was a masterpiece? masterpiece? It was a masterpiece. Right. I can't no. give you any of the words. Just kidding, just kidding. I'm, I'm trying to walk else. out. I had to say, I had to say, well, good night, everybody. It was fun talking to you all. <laughs> no, well, then I, it was... It was I was playing four, and then I saw the promotion for five, and five looked it was kind of cool. I kind of liked it, and then I was, and then we got that cami trailer, and it was like, this is the best cami I've ever seen in my entire life, and and then when I got to learn the game more, first beta, second beta, all of it, it was. So you was there. So you was there since the beginning, season one. Street Fighter the very, the, oh my god, I had the hookup at the time when I was in college. I actually was living 
at a game game distributor, uh, one of his residences, and he actually gave me like an advanced copy of Street Fighter Five. Oh man, that was that was crazy. I couldn't believe it. I, if you see on my CFN, it says that the first day that I played online was February fifteenth. 2016? 2016. 2016, right? The day before it released. No um, way. You've been here since the big. Be- You've been there since the beginning? I thought you came in like. Negative. Maybe like last season, like season four, season five. Wow. Like yeah. later on in the game. You know, like, you said you were there since the beginning? The, the, I, watched the beta- it. I watched it all happen. All happen. Beta one. Remember when Back Strong was actually Back Fierce? Into knee bullet. That was nuts. You were there that when Nash was, was talking. You were there when Mika was. Nash was know. ridiculous. Oh, you man. Was back yeah. in, you, okay. Whew. Okay. So I had to, I had to ask because there was a lot of criticisms in regards to how the game is going, and in your defense, <laughs> since you did play uh, the game since its first All of inception. It. Yes. So what what I mean, did you not find anything wrong with the game at the time you was playing it? Or are you just oh, like you just took it as a, oh, oh it's just the latest so entry I, in, the, in the series? I don't even know cuz like I was really playing 4 and I was I first started as a jury player in 4 and I was having a lot of fun because she was cool, she was interesting, she's a baddie. Uh she had lots of fun interesting combos and then I played her story and then I saw Cammy and it was just like what a, what an interesting counterpart why would why would those two ever cross paths and then it's just like where I'm doing all these big feng shui combos Cammy is just doing like some very interesting strikes very interesting hits and I'm just like Wow, she she was really really well balanced, and I was, she was really something, and she was doing a lot. And then, as I was playing more and hearing more from people, wow, she's actually really good. And then I found out at some point she was top one, and then top three, and it was just that's uh guys, do we actually stop playing the good character for any reason? No, no, okay, I guess not. I mean. I was a Spencer player. I was nice being top five. Then you get to be something even better than that. What? No. How could I? How could I not? How could I not want to? And then she just was more appealing as time went on. Uh, I think the thing that like really helped me want to play that character more visually is they got that war paint off of her legs because I feel like that was like the thing that could keep me from. So little itty bitty things that can just keep you from like going going the distance, going even further. Like you want to be better than than everything, but you need to you need to make sure that you are as happy and as comfortable as you are who you are. And it was like in that that's where everything, in my opinion, like changed because it's like you can see that this character over the years was she went from brainwashed to crusader to liberator now in six she's she's her own person and that's really cool i really like that a lot don't get me wrong i promise you i still i still care about six but like five in my opinion was the best iteration of her ever uh yeah definitely Hmm. and then just hmm. and then over the years it's just Okay, you get you go. go. No, no, I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay, so just playing her in five, playing her that entire time. Um, I think, I I think I was playing Street Fighter Five, but it didn't feel like that. It really just felt like I was playing Cammy Fighter Five. It was just Cammy versus all these crazy characters. Because at that exact point is how you could feel like, I don't know if you remember in season one where they actually said before Capcom Pup that the best characters in the game were were Armika, Chun-Li, and Kami. And then your top three was in fact 
Chun Li, Armika, and Cami. Like if anybody remembers. Back in what season one? Season one. Yeah, I know Mamika was. Yeah, definitely. I came remember for Mika. Sure. I don't. I, I remember Chun was. She pretty had the good, wall bounce. That's okay. She had the wall bounce at that time. Hmm. Yeah, no, my, no. Mika season one was very strong. Like you saw that they had very to kill strong. her in season two. Oh yeah, no, they they ruined her. But then it was like the loyalists, the ones that still figure things out, and then. And yeah, then that yeah. little balance patch in four, season four? Yes, I remember that exactly. And people saw the wall thing came back and everybody freaked out and they were like, oh no, this cannot happen again. <laughs> like P- PTSD when? just happened. Oh, you promised me. I promise you. The media of PTSD never stopped. Never stopped. I was like, oh yeah, no, she's not got her wall bounce anymore. She can't call no that. <laughs> and, and, and then it came back, and then it came back, and I swear to God, it just felt like all those scary Mika players I know are just outside my house, just pop that B-Skill one, and they're just like, hey. Mika, no. Mika, no. So there's a guy in my local scene, He he's a T.O., or at least he was a T.O. back in the time, and then he... He sold off the company to his friend, and then, and then they're running that now. Uh, it was my friend Nick. He was one amazing, amazing Armika player that really pushed me to be something better for myself. Because, oh God, the second place that that man would give me with Armika was crazy, crazy. Like you, like. It was so much. And that was just like the local stuff, too. That was all the local. And then and then the Mikas you you find throughout the world, they all they're they're just something, man. It's a it's a Mika. Like you could you you think you're out of her range and then surprise giant swing. <laughs> walking walking fifty fifty. Literally, no, li- literally, yeah. You're gonna get it from but, Mika. Uh, you're gonna get it from the Desco. Take your pick. Which way you want to lose? And then she can put you in a checkmate, a checkmate situation. I hate I the, the fucking checkmates hurt. Like you literally, there's no way. Like it's a <laughs> certain certain combo. She like a certain activation she does from V Trigger, and then. Like you ha- you can't do anything about it. Like that's you really you you'll really come down gotta pay attention. Yeah, you gotta. It's rough. You really but, gotta uh, pay attention. Yeah, you I mean, make the work. Yeah, it made the character work, but but yeah, that um. So yeah, that's what I was. Tra- I was trying to ask the question like, why did you like Street Fighter Five over Street Fighter Six? Like some people would say like Street Fighter Five was the the terrible game, but you believe otherwise. And you know you still play it over six to this day. So I was trying to figure out what made Street Fighter Five more enjoyable to you, enjoyable to you than trying out Street Fighter Six. And it seems to me like you just have like maybe an aesthetic connection to it versus like the gameplay because you were mentioning the story and um like you like the like the characters and stuff. But I didn't hear anything about the gameplay. So that's what I was trying to figure oh, out. What, what, what is the what is the difference? Like, 90% of the difference is actually the gameplay. Like, if anybody that ever sees me play this game, no, I'm just a hooligan. I just want to do hooligan as many times as possible so I can dive kick as many times as possible. I just want to dive kick. Okay. If you go to my Twitch at TV, you'll see my display picture is just a very sad homeless cami Looking sad, run down with a sign that says "Will dive kick for money," and it's so funny, right? <laughs> no, it's exactly. It Will dive kick for money, and then you give her the opportunity to do that. She cleans herself off, she gets good and ready, and then she dive kicks you fucking thirty times in a single round. Not even, I mean, not even for you. Sometimes the dive kicks is just for spacing, just to close the distance. 
Why? I mean, because they, they, I mean, they nerfed dive, they nerfed dive kick, and you still do it though. It it, it doesn't like even if you get punished, you'll still do it again. I still do it again. You'll still do it again. The fiercest skittles in the bag. He's gonna do it again. Yo, oh my gosh. Because your opponent's gonna be ah, no, he's not gonna. He got. He just got punished for doing dive kick. He's not gonna do dive kick again. And then long okay, hold, two seconds later, dive kick. kick. I gotta do it a little bit better this time. I gotta do it a little bit better this time. Come on, smoother, cleaner, sharper, better. Come on, Jay. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> like you, that, 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 you already that's have that's a you already have a game plan set on what you want out of your opponent. You just your your job exactly. is like to frustrate them. Just to frustrate exactly. them, make them. I okay. to frustrate them to make them feel really bad. <laughs> make them well, feel really bad, so that way they play plus three and then make more errors for free. And then oh, you, oh, you swore you could DP, and then you did, and then well, there's fifty percent of your life. Yeah, because you get what? Yeah, get your your V trigger activation. Yeah, yeah. Like V trigger yeah. activated. We we need this stand roundhouse to hit your to hit your DP because the sound I love it it, it really it really is motivating. This is the broken glass sound and then and then you can do as much as you'd like like and I even try to compare that to six and I'm just like. What situations could that really even feel like? Sure, you can hit them with a full drive impact, and and that's that's very satisfying. But like, there's there's something completely different when when you have all your resources ready to go, and you hit them with this crush counter, and then you give them the biggest combo you can. You activate hmm. a bunch of things, you burn it all in the same combo, CA. And then, and then the opponent has to sit there for like 15 seconds and just wonder, like, what in God's name is this guy doing? That's my favorite game. That's just a lot of, a lot of fun. And and then, and then my CA has crazy Oki in in five. So now it's like, I can get them with something. I, I'll even give you my favorite setup. It's the one that I created. I don't know. I don't know anybody else that ever actually did it, but the reality is, it's like I did it. You see, a them. You make you you can get them like, like really close. Like if if you know that the damage will be like a throw afterward to win, all you gotta do is get your big damage, ca finish. Dash up once, light hooligan. And if they don't DP or get uh, that instant jab, yeah. hmm. they're getting thrown. You know, I'll, I'll, ask that bit, the I'll ask that bit about that. Because, uh, you know, he played um, carry me back in Street Fighter Five. I am going to give that VIP some real, real kudos. I want to thank him for helping me level up some more. There was this one time that we were in a grand finals in Untamed Gaming, and I am not even lying. He ran up to me on my knockdown, jumped up, and did neutral jump medium punch. He put something in my brain that day. He put an actual, okay. like, what the hell was that in my head that day? Because he definitely smacked my head top and continued to beat me up. I, I took a second place to that man, and that was one really cool way to almost guarantee new damage, free damage, free damage, free opportunity, and sometimes you're just looking for those opportunities. Like, I, if you are consistently down with every combo you do, you can just see those combos as chunks of life that will be taken out of their health bar. As long as you know that you can hit them 100 out of 100 times, you can always guarantee on those things. So you're just looking for like the next opportunity to get. And it's like, I don't know, I guess when it just came came to all the work and all the work that I put in, it's really hard to like pick other people's brains on what could be good options or good situations to see 
uh, to see new opportunities to get new damage and get new new situations in in your favor. So I'm that yeah, Thank you very much. I I really do appreciate that. That was Al, but wow! It showed you a new it showed you a new option Shout for out. your character, and you you added that right? to your you added that to your repertoire. I was sure I knew was, everything. And this guy. Yeah, yeah, the, the hooligan. The, I, I mean, there was another player that used to do hooligan. Was it underscore? He used to do hooligan a underscore. lot too. But oh yeah, yeah. I think y'all. I think y'all two was the only one that were like really using hooligan like that. Really from using hooligan from, like, from like, watching tournaments and stuff. And like, yeah, these other yeah the other cameras don't really like use hooligan like that. Even that VIP, he 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 doesn't use it. He does not. He doesn't. He doesn't use it. He he he'll he'll. I mean, nah, he won't. He won't. He'll just play neutral. Um, He'll play he real neutral. More grounded game. Yeah. He has, like, a more traditional cami. But uh, you you throwing out the bag of tricks, man. You said you'll get punished. You said you'll do it again. <laughs> do it again. I will I do can, it again. I respect that. I, re- I respect that because uh, it's, it's, it's a layer to it. There's layers to it. Uh, as well, you know, you it may seem scrubby to somebody else, but hey, your job is to get the W by any means necessary. It may not look the prettiest, but it's, it's hey, you got the job done. So I mm-hmm. can, you know, I can say congrats to that. But let's talk about uh, let's talk about a couple of things here. Um, so Street Fighter Five. So at the end of the game of its life, late life in the game, it added in a new mechanic like the V shift and the V break, and I was wondering like. In regards to those changes that were added into Street Fighter Five, if that were to happen in Street Fighter Six, like if they make they they change some of the mechanics in that, would you come back to play then, or is it just that you just don't really like how the mechanics work in Six? I it's the mechanics in Six. Like, okay, so when I I didn't I, I basically boycott Six. The entire time because we're gonna go back to when I said SF5 was a masterpiece. Uh, that fucking guy, my man, SF5 is a masterpiece. This guy's on. Awesome. Okay. Five is a masterpiece. That's the that's the title. That's the, that's, the, that's the title of this episode. Street Fighter Five is a masterpiece. SF5 is a masterpiece? Question mark? Yeah. Question mark. We got it. We we in there. Chops the fair skittles. All right, keep going. Okay, so it was season five. We get Gil, we get Seth, and and I finally got something that I've been wanting for a very long time, which was a mid hitting crush counter, and we got it with spinning attack, and we got rid of spin knuckle, which I'm sad that I can't easy peasy go through fireballs. Which then forced me to do even better dive kicks because now they are like, the dive kick is right in my face and uh, the fireball is right in my face and that's when I dive kick right over it. Perfectly clean, completely ignored it. I was just down and we're already, like I wasn't even on the, like I wasn't off the ground for a moment, you know? Um, And that was a lot of fun. But then they invented V-Shift and and if you remember the trailer, it like the promotional trailer for that was actually Cammy's V trigger dive kick getting V shifted. And then like I see that. I see that and I'm just like, oh my god, they really they really needed to calm this character down because they needed to make Luke look good so that way they can sell copies of six. It it I think it all went I think it all went down like in the last season when they were doing their Capcom Cup, like their their qualifiers, and there was like a grand finals between Mago and Tokido, and he was, and he was like, like September Tokido, uh, September Mago, where he's just like outrageous for no goddamn reason, and he's just just crushing everything. It it really forced the devs to like take an extra minute to just think about the things that they had to do to to not let this character ruin the new game because if because the way five 
pretty much was for the entire time, Cammy was just allowed to do a ton. And I think that was a lot of Ono's influence. Because uh, even though he had the little Blanca figure, it actually was Cammy was his favorite character. That's why Cammy got a lot of praise and care and this and that. But like, then I also think like the new devs see Cammy and they want to tone her down even more. Because I feel like there was a time, like this is this is just me just making jokes that are like half serious. Like I swear the devs. Like some some dev got like the Cami Schmitz that was so outrageous. They said, "There's no way we're doing this again in in six. We gotta we gotta <laughs> calm this stuff down." Because like it really does feel like some somebody just just Schmitz the devs so bad that they just got mad for the next three years. And <laughs> and if you look at it, if you really look at it, it really does feel that way. Like. Why did Cammy lose her air throw off of Hooligan? Why? Hmm. Gets a feint that the feint actually is pretty punishable if you try to like do it right into their face. Like I I even did like a yeah. comparison of five to six where it was like oh, Okay. Hmm. One, two, spiral arrow, hooligan to them. Hooligan, don't actually do anything. In five, you you try to grab and nothing happened, so they flop to the ground. And then in six, they hooligan as close as they can to the person on their wake up and do the thing. In five, Cammy like flops to the ground and she's ready to block. She blocks the she blocks the EXDP. Cammy does the hooligan right to the guy. He wakes up, she comes to the ground, but she gets she gets blown up. Why is that? I don't know. That so you, and, and I guess that's so you, you, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. And and then it's like I see that and I'm just like, I could swear when you grow and do more, you should be getting better and being more like she's she's a master of her craft now and it's like but cammy why why are you so full of limitations you're you look like you could and then and then you just have to like she just get older and like she can't move the way she wants to anymore like because I remember being a young man doing all this crazy stuff, and now I'm 33 next month, and it's like it's, the the painting as strong as you. It sounds it. like uh, it sounds like you said because you, if it's, it sounds like you can't hooligan the way you want to in six versus five just because of that aesthetic that change to the character how hooligan works in six it doesn't work the same as it did in five and i don't think what you can't die like you want to in six mm -hmm. is that it because the character seems the character feels different for you the character feels so different it just feels like it, mm -hmm. it feels like they just wanted to have mm -hmm. pretty cammy to lure all the youngsters in think about this about this oh yeah we're gonna have a fun time and then it's just like uh, why why actually if 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 cammy lures you in and then you just end up looking at anything else you easily just go with many of the other better top tier options and just do that like honest to goodness i'm i'm gonna go back and finish trying to get master rank in in six, I I told him that I was platinum with zero understanding of the game. BS like the first ten matches and get plat five, then get diamond. And I'm just oh I okay sure sure what, whatever you give me game it was just lights and throws. <laughs> it was just lights and throws. We don't know combos yet. We don't know combos. It's just lights. To be fair, I got a plat five with DJ. 
um, at exactly. that first tryout rank. And everyone else in my scene were like end up being gold somehow, or maybe yeah, like, exactly. or not. And, like the thing is, I, I was didn't trash. Know they were fired. Yeah, I didn't it was even it know was they were fired. Like I wanted to keep it like traditional. Like you have to start from like zero and then go through the bronzes, the silvers, the golds. Mm-hmm. I wanted to do that, but I just wanted to tell the game, no, no, I'm a G. I'm good. I'm goaded. I'm a. I'm a real thing, gaming god. Ooh, yeah. And then they were just like, okay, you start in the platinum lobbies. Good job. Good luck. Don't get washed. Not hmm. not entirely washed, but like, it just it really gave me options. Right, right. Mm. Um, the, the funny thing you uh, said that yeah. because um, yesterday, last night, we had the watch party and stuff, and we were just talking about fighting games in general with the, um, my scene. One of the guys um, who moved in recently, um, he actually was saying that Cammy is like one of the, the, if not the only character, one of the few characters that consistently never actually changed in general, um, <laughs> as far as play style wise. Because, like, for example, you see how DJ is from Street Fighter 4, and he changed completely now. His style is much different. You no, know, Ken is much mm. unique. Um, Zangi for sure. Like many of the characters have different new tools and everything like that, and hasn't and has changed for either for the better or the worse. But Cammy of, of many characters, she's still like the same across the board ever since Street Fighter yeah. Two her um, debut. Yeah, yes, I agree. Especially in Six, because I feel like they were using more Street Fighter Four, Street Fighter Two options for her, like. I was I was thinking about it last week at work. It was just like, you know, what would be fucking sick if Cammy could have like her, if she could have the. I want her to keep her five heavy kick, but if we could put that as back heavy kick, and then have her four kick as her n- neutral kick. Wouldn't that be really good? She would get she would get so much more mileage. I think so. I think that would be the problem. That would be all problem. Because the thing is, she's not terrible in six. She's not. not, She's not. She may be be, okay. If anything, she may be a little bit outside of the top five. But she's Mm -hmm. not where like there's no reason to play her. Like Punk actually, Punk won Frosty Fastens with her. Um, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Punk is the only is the only Cammy player right now that is making me even think about the game at all. Because his play style really? is very interesting. He, he is the guy. Like, I'll tell you, all the Cammy's in five. We got the god himself, Toshi Siri. We have we have Kazunoko. We my favorite once upon a time. Who uh was Punko. He he was the guy when the game first dropped. He was he was a maniac with him. He was just going anywhere. I wanted to be like that. Oh man. And then it's like and then you have all of those and it's really good. And then I'm looking at six and I'm just like I need I feel like I need to see Cammy in that game. Cause like if I have to watch JP versus Ken, all the JP versus Luke all day. I I will I will applaud the winner. I will have to like look up from my phone to see who won again. Because yeah, I, I want to say I want to say probably because what now in Street Fighter Six the mechanic the me- meaning the mechanics now you have the de- defensive options that are actually you have more viable defensive options. But the options can help kind of shut down that up, like approach and offenses. So now Cammy can't just like get away with murder or be crazy as she and used to be. And, and that's what I think I wanted. Like thinking about it a lot is like it's actually the defensive options. You didn't like the last season of Five J because they had V Shift and you couldn't just freely give them this this three hitting dive kick that follows up. And that's the thing you just don't like. And I get that, because you just wanted these easy-peasy wins. I really did. And then and then they make me have to 
work for it. And it's like... I mean, yeah. That's really how it felt. Oh, man. And, trust I me, I play DJ, so I don't I don't right. like to work because he does big damage. But exactly. <laughs> but no, the thing is that <laughs> yeah, like, he's, he's like on the list of characters I want to learn. Like if I get Master with Tammy, I would want to get it with Marisa, DJ, Lily, Aki, Kuma when he drops. Oh God! Dude. Where yeah. where I'm talking as much smack about six, I promise you, I am keeping in my heart that I can just just pick up a Kuma because he's the exact aesthetic I wanted. The thing I didn't get from five, I wanted specifically a Kuma with the five head with all the 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 big the thing I'm currently wearing, the big hair and then the, the, that. No shirt in full rage. That's it. But you can't get that in five because he's either gonna have the shirt with that in in uh his default, or you can get nostalgia, but then you get the the four head like the, the Street Fighter four head and I don't know. It's not what I yeah. wanted. Or you then get his battle that is exactly what I wanted, but then he has the the, the ribbon around him. The ribbon was the ribbon was like the cell yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't need. And then and then you like look at One Piece and they do the exact same thing and that looks great, but you're just like, eh. oh, Kuma, why didn't you be like that? Oh, but now now in six now in six he is looking so good that I am just sitting here waiting. Like Shadowways, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for Flicker. I'm happy for Silver Rupee. I'm happy for all the ad players. I love all you guys. You guys are so fun. You're my you're my clone sibling. <laughs> it's us. I mean, I'm it's waiting us. seven minutes, so you know, it's, it's just, this is overdue. Right? Overdue what are you even today. playing right now? Huh? Who are you playing in six? I have no idea. Um, I was playing Lily. I was playing Lily, all but right, then I, I switched over to uh, Jamie. Okay. All Jamie right, kind of right. yeah, because yeah, Jamie kind of reminded me of uh, Ed a little bit. You know, oh, I so totally that's that. I respect that a lot. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So I've been I've been playing him. Uh, like a I bit just want to play Lily just to like just half a person and just this just far reaching pokes and then surprise command grabs from moderately far away. I think. Does, is that what is, is she like? Or do you have to still be? You know what? We can be close. We have we have drive rush. Just we have drive rush. We can be close. <laughs> we can be close. It's fine. Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out the mystery because I know you mentioned a couple of camis, and I was like, well, you know, underscore. He's a fellow cami from Street Fighter Five. He used to enter a lot of events, and he plays really well in them, but not too much on the success side for him in Street Fighter Six. So I was just right? wondering, yeah, I was kind of wondering how that can be compared to, you know, the Street Fighter Five version of her. And it just, it just sounds like you can't do what you used to do in Five in this engine, which you can't. You like, can't. I mean, you, you breathe. Really you sneeze wrong. And you eat it, and that's for, and that's forty percent of your health. Cammy to look hot. They just needed Cammy to look hot, look good, make the guy actually give up the hundred dollars, Canadian. To get this game, and then it's just like, I, I first, I just want to give an extra special shout out to a, to one of the locals from my from my scene, one of the the local dudes. His name is Stormhow. God bless that man. He actually, I, I once had a desperation stream, where I just need something good to happen today, and the man. Honest to goodness, said, "Why aren't you playing six? I mean, I just, I just don't want. Like, I, I don't have the money to get it, and it's just, I, I have so many priorities because I'm a father of two, and twins. Uh, he up and, with a copy. Hmm? Yes, he did. Yeah. I was live for twenty nine minutes. In hundred dollar dono, what a guy." I had six at the end of that night. 
That was crazy. It was, it was a message. It was a message. Was and a message. I, and because of that, I do not wish to completely just talk bad about Six and waste this wonderful man's money because he was very considerate and I want to be there for him and I want to be there for the ones that want to be there for me for this game. Uh, Six is still good. I like in the beginning, I thought it was Cammy Steam, not so good, but by the 50th time, all right, this 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 song actually pretty much slaps, and I think it's carrying the entire game at this point. Anytime I go on my YouTube and I watch a Cammy player, I, I'm praying, just, can we start the video with Cammy's theme? Yes, great, we're engaged in the entire video now. If it's training <laughs> stage, I see, if it's not punk. I sleep. If it's if it's not a so fun theme, your, your favorite your favorite cami is six to watch right now. My favorite cami right now to watch is Funk, and then and then Toshi. But it's like it's it's more like a respect thing. I just don't know when he's gonna show up because he's in Japan, and like I don't know whenever that happens. But mm -hmm. in those five days, oh my god, that man would stream moderately often for a very long time and i just that was my television for the day that was my that was my weekly episode for the week it was so good i'd watch him just go on 30 to 40 game win streaks and then have one of the worst times against what was probably like top 15 in the world karen that just really was brutal super brutal they would never see each other all day, and they both have their big ass win streaks. And the Karen had a bigger one, and was... it, it was messed. But this man still told me he was the best Cami in Japan, and I believed it. And then I used those tactics, and that's every single time you take you you find me jumping into the corner, back throw, light kick, forward throw. That was Toshi. And I and I thank him for that every single time. It's so hard to stop that. It's so I, hard. I just realized that there was only one Cami qualified so far in the Capcom for the Capcom um, Cup. Mm -hmm. Not Punk, I, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Knuckle do. That's cr yes. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think yeah, there's a couple of Camis in there that qualified. Uh. They both were like what six, maybe six of them, six or seven. Yeah. Cammies. All right, like, that's really good. Thank God. As far as like, um, yeah, it would be main or just like pocket. Can... You can I don't pocket. know if they count it as. I... Yeah, I think unless they do and count count. Pocket. I want to think it was like the yeah. last the last round to win gets gets the screen because like if you mm -hmm. remember twenty nineteen Capcom Cup, I don't use. Oh yeah. Laura. Five yep. wins, and then said, "I'm going to cheese the last one because I don't think you can stop poison right now, right now with this pack." And he did that and won, and now he's he's a household name. I mean, it was very random. I no really feel like that's against her. What it was? No one practiced against Laura. Every, everybody's terrified. Like you have to find like the the seven great Lauras, and it's just it's so hard to find those. Mm -hmm. I use seven because I'm sure there's like yeah that, that that plays at that best. level at that at that yeah particular exactly level. yeah exactly very difficult to to find that many but um but yeah you because it's it's a very it's an interesting contrast to see how Street Fighter Five players are going over to six and how they feel about the game and you know some of them might not. Is I might not might not say that six is their cup of tea, or it is like no, nah, I'm not really not not feeling it at the moment, and they might be playing something else mm -hmm. or just kind of playing casually, which is understandable, you know. Um, it is a brand new game. It is the first season of the mm -hmm. game. We do have to mm -hmm. wait a whole entire year for a patch, a balanced patch for everything. So when that time comes, it'll come. But most of the players, you know, some you know the players who adjusted well. And they found themselves having success because they, I guess they stuck with it and they committed to it. But I feel that you have to play, you have to play both of the games completely different. 
Uh, that's what I feel like. Just based off of the engine for the game. So, like, whatever you do in five, I don't think it can work in six, and vice versa. And I think you, people have to start seeing it as two completely different games versus, like, oh, it's just the next entry in the title and everything else can just carry over. Nah, this this. It's a lot going on in six, man. It is definitely a lot going mm-hmm. on in six. So I can kind of see why, you know, certain players coming in from five might not find the success they did in five. Um, be, just because of it, it's, you know, it's a brand new engine. And there's still, mm-hmm. still things being figured out. So that's where I kind of wanted to see where your head was at, like where, the, you know, how you felt about it, the game. And on, it's exactly uh, that, you know. my man. It's exactly that. Because it's like, Hmm. you were told for the last seven years to just keep mashing light kick and not care what your opponent thinks and and you're gonna get paid and it's just oh boy there's Maturino right there and he's like no zero thought about it you just kept just kept pressing light kick into something and then wow you're so goaded it's fierce I can't believe you wow what a what a what a good player wow who the amount of Tammy Grand Finals I've been in is very nice. I love it. There's so many people that say, I hate the mirror match. The mirror match sucks. Blah, blah, blah. As soon as you tell me that the mirror match is the worst thing you ever have to play, I know for a fact. I know for a fact I can then say 90%, I'm going to win. With 90% confidence, I'm going to win. Because they just... I love that character. I love it so much. I love the mirror. She, she, she even ruins herself. Like that's crazy. Like what kind of character scares? She looks in the mirror and terrifies herself so bad she exdp, knowing for a fact it's the same thing you do to everyone. It's the same thing, and you still piss yourself. Well, GG, thank mm. you for that. I. I can't believe you EXDP'd again, knowing your health. They took away your 25. Do you not remember? No, when they took away the 25, I knew they, they did not want that character to succeed. They took away the 25 and the second hit, and the consistent second hit off of Heavy Drill. I was just like, they don't care. They don't want this character to win. They want Luke to win. Uh, they want she was still good, even though she got those she got those changes, she was still a good character. And... I know, she was still a good character. It just takes a lot of time and you have to stop griping about the the the, the second drill. That one that one really hurt the Cami community for a very long time. We were not okay after we were not okay because of the injustice. But hey Didn't y'all get the, um, the activation off of heavy uh Heavy spiral? Guy, nobody, remember that. nobody remembers that. Nobody remembers that. Nobody remembers say, that. I think that was the thing, man. Nobody yeah, remembers that. Yeah, she could do uh, activation off of that. I know, and it's like, you can get it, but eh, you want to know what was actually a good buff that nobody uses at all? Like, the second hit of knee bullet actually can combo. Well, oh, combo oh, with heavy. Yeah, oh, oh. it's a juggle. Yeah, I juggle off the second hit from the from that normal. Mm-hmm. It's it. Yeah. It's good, but realistically, it's like I don't know when you're gonna do it or gonna need it. Like yeah, I, I would say, I feel like that was given to you as an option. To to make you forget that you just lost a lot. Here's an here's another option, but the reality is that really strong option is gone now. You sometimes it's like in my own mind, I I'm sad because it's like I want to just give give my opponent the V trigger dive kick, and I feel like I have to be faster than them doing V shifts. Because that's the old, like one of the greatest ways I'm going to get these this hit this this opportunity because it really is just this V shift that then I feel like the V shift is was like 
the prototype for drive impact in the opposite direction. Hmm. You 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 Very drive impact to be offensive, right? They drive impact to be defensive, which then turns into offensive. Mm -hmm. The the drive impact okay. in five was you are going to do your attack, and then they drive impacted. B shift punish you a ton. I can see. It. I think I, I can see. It. Because you also get the break that comes after the V shift too. The break, as an exactly. You, yeah, you get that chance to like just chill and wait for a minute, and then decide yeah, if you want to do it or not. Yeah, and it's like sometimes the break is good, but then it's like it also can open you up. But then it's like with with the break, you actually get them away from you for a moment. <sighs> Hmm. I mean, it's, it's... okay. I can, I can I can kind of see that because think about it. They added that in really late to the game, and then six was on really the horizon. Late. So maybe yeah, that was like the beta test, and then Luke was there too as well. So it kind of gave you Luke a sneak was there to like what six was really help like. you like understand what six is yeah. going to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can I can kind of I see the I can see that now. Um, you mentioned earlier. That uh, you mentioned your kids earlier, so I had to, I wanted to ask, how does it feel like you're competing as a parent? And I know, you know some people say they don't have time because you know they have kids and the other responsibilities and things are like that. But you still manage to find a way to compete and enter these uh you know these weekly uh, PlayStation tournaments. So how do you how do you manage your schedule to still you know play as much as you can and still be able to compete at, at that level? I am so so grateful for these playstation tournaments because yes it takes a while for you to get the payout but like when it shows up it shows up as usd so it's like as a canadian that's it's actually a lot um so that pretty much is justified because at this exact moment of time as a father of two i'm working four jobs i am a welder I work in a McDonald's part-time. I do Uber Eats deliveries. And then I stream. And with these PlayStation tournaments, that's really how the streaming ever can even look like moderate cash. Because it's like, I'm a father of two. I don't have a lot of time in my day. I have to take care of my boys. Um. Mm -hmm. In regards to training, honest to God, it is just, it is like almost entirely mental. There was a time when I was able to do that when the kids are asleep, but the, the wife just hates, hates the PlayStation so much, but can't deny the money. So. You think you play as long as you're winning. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh God. You should have seen what she told me like last week. She said, if you don't win, you can't play in the next one. Second. It's like, all right, I gotta, all right I'm going to win. Or at least make, wow. you know, top top eight. Yeah. Right? No. Yeah, trust me, we yeah, have yeah, that's still good money. Yeah, it's still really good money. It still is really good money. Like, like even the one we just had this Friday, I'm sad. Mm -hmm. Came in fourth. Oh my god, I had flux to zero health. Zero health and a a confirm didn't happen, and that would have been the health that would have let me advance to winners finals. But then I'd have to fight Tay and then the, the anxiety was set in and I didn't want that. It's usually him. But then it's, I wanted it's, it's, it's always it's usually him. I mean it's, it's, it's always, always the same group of us, you know, it's this always we're always in the rotation, so it's like it's, exactly. it's either, you know, you I beat you, you beat me, I beat you, you beat me, I lose the chocolate, lose the flux. Um, My man, I just want to say uh, thank you for that one time you wore the same outfit as me. What a G. What a yeah, guy. I had to put the track suit on, man. I, you know, I had to represent right. for the track suit nature. Right? No, full respect. If anybody wears the track suit, you clearly are a sweat that care about your character. 
<laughs> oh, mad respect. Mad respect to the tracksuit nation. The tracksuit nation, man. I hope they. I was tracksuit hoping they, they they put them in six, but they we didn't get no tracksuits yet. I mean it, and and that's and that's exactly how I feel about six right now. Is like the game is, uh, but you know what the game can be really good for? Their mods. Their mods can be really really engaging. Like what I want to do is get my purple tracksuit in six, but then give her black tins. I purple suit with black tim. I, I can't take this man. You guys like give a hot oh, that's crazy. <laughs> the purple suit with black tim, Joe. That's the fit. That's the fit for the time. game. That would make every the game time a hot take is too much to take. Oh my goodness. The purple tracks. No, oh, it's too good. I love it so much, man. It's so much fun. It's such a good game. Oh my god. So what do you? So let me let me ask. What do you have to, to say for people who uh, who may not uh, well who want to to play five or they just think they can't find anybody to play or there's no tournaments being held anymore or like what do you what do you have to what are your thoughts on? Okay, that? all right. I'm gonna be as straight as a dollar bill right out of the ATM. It's a goddamn ghost town over there. Online, it's a ghost town. Um, you really have to go look for people that want to play five. Or you just accept that you're going to go on to ranked and it's going to be like either a really long queue for a match or it's the same five people all day. Until, mm. until, uh, until their frustration is so high they don't want to do it anymore. And just log off for the day. Like, I'm fighting Spilly Bob. I'm fighting. You're fighting I'm the fighting same rotation of annoying. players every day? Yes. Every single day. It is the same, same, same dudes every day. Like, mm. it, sometimes it's a mix up. Like, they, they change their outfit just to, like, Keep their eyes open, I guess. Keep from falling asleep, but it's like <laughs> it's it's the same. It's the same dudes. It's it's the jet black Honda with the red tint. You know, it's yes, I'm annoying. It's you see this one Ryu. You know, it's it's the same it's Billy Bob. Yeah. Well, it's him again. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> you see that purple <laughs> family here. online? You know for a fact it's me. It's Skittles again. It's, I like how everyone had their it, own it, signature it, outfit and color. I love the signature outfit and color. Like when you get so good and get to such a pedigree, you you actually can just tell everybody, "This is my outfit." The only way yeah, you, can you don't take see this nobody, you don't see me, no one else. You don't. You, I don't. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else wear the purple tracksuit but you. I think you were the only one. Exactly. Like I've. I have not lost the purple tracksuit in any in any matches I've ever randomly got into. Never. And that's a good feeling because like the tracksuit was kind of it was a good fit. I liked the way it was designed, but it just didn't like those color choices. And then they added the purple hmm. one, in, and it was just like that was that's it. it. I'm in. That's, that's it. it. We're done. I found my I right. found my 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 fit. That's just, uh, what was it? It was like uh, at some you you reach an age in your life where you j where you just have the one just a uniform for every day. No, mm -hmm. oh, that's the work clothes. The tri the purple tracksuit. That's the work clothes. Love it. Oh so boy. What would you say? Yeah. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. But yeah, like going back to like being a competitor with kids, it's I really am like like if if I have the opportunity to, I'll try and play, but they really don't want me to play at all. So any if, if you ever see me like performing that well, I'm just using the Mike Tyson strat where 
I overwhelm you in the exact amount of time I need to win, or else I'm probably not winning. Or the that strategy gets figured out, and then I I don't really have time to like come up with something new. It sucks because like I feel like there was this time where I had more more leniency. Uh, it was around it was around uh, August to November, like the very start of November. Like in that time frame, that's where I finally hit my goal of hitting Grandmaster. Mostly because it's a ghost town, and you're just farming off of you're just farming your thirty fives all day long, and you need to get these big long streaks in order to to get to get the points to get the ability. But you don't feel like you're really growing from that because it's these mm -hmm. it's these players. Same so cool. then you have to change. Yeah, it's the it's these base diamonds that you're trying to like grow and be better off of. So then the mm. intention then has to be, you got to play super perfect. Like you got to be so good, so consistent that it can't like some days I consider it a loss. If that guy got a round, if that guy got a hit, if it wasn't a perfect, if that was, that was an L for me, but it wasn't a technical L, so I'll take the points. But the reality is I need to be better so I could do better in these uh, for the sake of everything PlayStation tournaments. I personally want to, if if Jacko would be considering, I would love to bring five back. I would even use my own money as like a pot bonus to entice people. Like I'd probably like do like a, Pay the house five or something, and depending on how much people enter, uh, we can we can then up the pot and do do different things. But it's like I need to know if anybody actually cares because everybody's so focused on this million dollars that probably is going to go to men already. Uh, it's that's really tough. A million that's probably going to go to men. <laughs> I mean, he's a strong candidate for sure. But he's a double just, champion. Uh, he's a yeah. double champ. Like, what do you want? He's going to be playing that's, a mix of characters that nobody say. plays. Yeah, he is the favorite. He is one of the favorites for sure to get in there. I and definitely want to go to bet.com and just put a sizable amount on this pretty sure thing and watch him win, and then that's it. Thanks, Mano. At least now I feel like I won Capcom Cup, you know? I bet Sabet's going to be going crazy during Capcom Cup, so there's a chance mm -hmm. to do something there. But you mentioned you wanted to do a, a Street Fighter Five tournament again. Is that what you want to? Is that what you yes, is that because, what I'm here? Yes, because when I was a young man, I wanted to be the TO for my local scene. And remember that that game distributor? He has a he has a game shop. Uh, it's called We Got Games. Great man, great dude. Thank you, sir. Thank you for all your help. Uh, he had like a good chunk of like open space that he he even let us use. He even bought big nice BenQ monitors to just let us plug in our PlayStations. So we could run those tournaments there. I was really grateful, but then there was the other TO that was there. Uh, we were competing. Me and the other TO were competing for the space, but I just ended up losing the space to him. But then that was fine because my life is kind of chaotic. And then 2020, 2022 was when I had, had my first son. And then the end of that year, mm -hmm. my second son. It was wild. Irish twins. Hmm. Uh, yeah, same right. calendar year. Um, same year, born the same well, year. Same, same year. year. Um, so with all of that, it's just like it, my time is very limited. Like even right now, I the babysitter is currently being paid at this exact time. Like I'm in, I'm in what I had to call an office. 
it's it's just a storage unit but like the idea is mm. like i can i can freely get some stuff done for like my own business which is well once upon a time we were doing things under nwb which is northwest brawlers i'm the ceo of northwest brawlers but because of covid it really just rushed everything we we were tw- like we were like the secondary organizers we were the guys that had equipment that we would bring to events I would get free entry because I was a goaded cami that had a PlayStation 4 Pro that had everything for 5. 5 was completely decked out. Like, before they gave us the complete edition, mine was the complete edition. Because I just believed because they, I played cami. I made a lot of free money that just went back into the game. It's, it's, mm. it's just paid for itself. Oh man, it was so much fun. So much fun. Like, I don't know, like like throughout throughout everything, I want to say like 25k. Just just through well, just off of winning tournament, all all the winnings that I could like winning streams bet when when Street Fighter 5 was involved, there was a very good there was a very good profit that came out of that game. So mm-hmm. I, I was grateful. for. It. I think that's a, like a big mm-hmm. reason why it's hard for me to quit. Cause I, I put so much into it and it put so much into me and it, it really, this chair was, uh, this was the second place prize at the, Largest Canadian video game expo, uh, EGLX 2019. Nice. This nice. was my prize. Okay. This was my prize. Out of um, um, nice. All right, playing for Street Fighter Five. Okay. It, it was so good. It was. I think that was the one. Like, that was my peak for like, like truly enjoying Street Fighter Five as a community mm-hmm. outside of online because again that was like that was four months before COVID happened. And mm-hmm. it it was so good. I I've never in my life had an audience that large to watch potentially me. I had to work my way to that grand final stage. But there was like game plans and all of these things that were allowing me to do some stuff. Uh, it was it was good because it's like the way it was is you had to pay to get in to the con, and then uh, if you win, if you win first place, you can't enter any of the other days. It was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you win, you can't enter the next day. Take your first first prize and get out. All the way until Sunday, there's a giant crowd, and I managed to get to grand finals. And what they did was they they lured me in with the prize of a Nintendo Switch for first place. I was hyped for that. And then on that day, they actually turned it into a Switch Lite. Kitty! Hi, kitty! Kitty cat. Um, I love cats. I'm a cami player. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she always tried to right? get on the camera. Yeah. Okay, so so they tell me that it's a switch light. I'm mad. So I specifically wanted it to go exactly this way. I want to from loser side, from loser side, get all the way to grand finals. Mm. Get the guy to an inch of his life. And then take a dive because second place was going to be a better prize. This chair and some gorgeous headphones. Hmm. Yeah, it was first place. Yeah, yeah. It was, hey, first place. it was supposed to be. A, it was supposed to be a switch. It was supposed to be a switch. Oh, okay. And then second place was the chair. Was the chair and headphones? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Right. No, I was very grateful. Yeah, I, want the, that. I want the chair. <laughs> right. I was just like. If because I already own a switch, so the intention was I'm gonna win, I'm gonna be like, Yes, I won, I won the switch. 
All right, anybody in this audience who wants this switch? Betting starts at a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. Come here, let's go. Let's see who wants it. I'll autograph it. The champs autograph. You get to get the candy ghost autograph on the switch. Who wants it? That was the that was the actual intention, and then they and then they punk out at the last second and give you a switch light, and that was so disgusting because it was like a hundred dollars to get in that weekend. For the whole weekend, and it was just uh, no, no, no. I really needed that switch. Now I, now I feel like I got, so I gotta get something out of this. At this point, it was this beautiful, beautiful Andesis, the official chair of EGLS. I plug it because, damn it, it is the nicest seat I own, and it really does save my back. A lot. It looks comfortable. And then that's also part of the 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 twenty the twenty five k that I was talking about. This is how I see it because it was like a four hundred dollars seat at the time, and then a two hundred dollar pair of headphones. Ah, it was. And then I won my tournament, my local that weekend. That was so good. At one hundred and fifty, and Street Fighter was so okay. good back in the day. So the so the game the game tra- uh, treated you right. The game exactly. treated you right. Yeah. With plenty of was uh, a, cash payout and prizes. A lot of cash, a lot of opportunities, and they still just took light kicks and believed that I was gonna throw them. Couldn't believe mm-hmm. it. It's, what a fun game. But then as time progressed and online happened and and the scenes died out and all of these things turned down and I then was just looking for anybody that wants to play five for potential money, which then ended up becoming, uh, I ended up finding on team gaming. I think it was through Facebook. And then I really mm-hmm. liked you guys. And this was a lot of fun and we were doing a lot of good things. Uh, it really felt like a home for me because I was, I was actually there on the very last day that my wonderful venue in Toronto closed down. Luckily, your boy place. That place closed with me as the last champ. I was the last one to leave that building. Right? Good feeling. Good times. Mm-hmm. And then... And you discovered uh, Untamed. How'd you... Mm-hmm. You said you found them through Facebook? Yes. And then I just... Huh? I was just enjoying my time there. Is Untamed just had a lot of good, interesting people, a lot of good, strong competition that makes you feel like you like you can aspire to do something. You you train week after week after week to try and win one of these things, try and go somewhere and do something with this. And then you had the the league system where you were accumulating points. That was that was a real hero. Because then you just up the pay scale based off of who's been performing for the last couple of weeks. No, that one really helped out a lot. That one helped out a lot. That I, I think that was that yeah, Dap Vip that won? I think it was. No, it was the uh, underscore. Underscore won the final one. Oh, he won yeah, the final he, one. He, yeah, he won the final one. I ended up getting second. Because I, I remember was, uh, getting, getting like a. I remember getting one of the second places, like one of the grand champion second places that then just paid out a hundred dollars and that was wow. oh, one of the seasons, like during one of the season finals. Yeah. But it, yeah, exactly. It, yeah. One of the season finals. That was a lot of fun. Oh my god, Blur Lad was menacing. I mean, we got the we still got the, the PlayStation Cups, but like like you said, they do take like right? nine months to to give you your, your take, funds, I, but they, they take forever. But when it hits, when you get that email saying you won money, hey kids, we're eating take dinner money. tonight. True. I have, uh... Yeah, I mean that's a bit. You know, that's that's groceries. That's that's a bill or two taken care of. Mm-hmm. So it's not. It's, I mean, it's not bad when it hits, but it just takes a long time. That's all. 
And I'm surprised. Yeah, I mean, they're the brilliant. only ones. That's the only way you could get a tournament now is by entering those. But that's it. Already moved that's on. That's it. Yeah. And people just move yeah. on. I'm trying to actually tell people of this, and they still couldn't care about five. I yeah. I played five people in a row that weren't even diamond yet, and then I and then I had to play one more person, and that was money. And and then you get into actually difficulties. The the GMs, the warlords. Hmm. Yeah, I mean the seeding is always random in it. So it's like it is. Like one tournament I could I could I could fight Chocolate the first round and the next tournament I'll fight Flux. And then the third tournament I'll probably fight somebody named uh Hadou can master two three two and he's at bronze. So it's just it's super random. So Super like, random. I don't even worry about this thing. Yeah. This I, really I stopped scene. worrying about them. It's it's so random. Like yeah. they're I definitely just look at the bracket and see like how is it, how is it playing out? There was a time all of you guys were some were like in the same half of the bracket and I had nobody. I had nothing yeah, to worry no, yeah, about. Nobody on your side. Right yeah, until yeah, winter's really final. Everybody. Yeah. Nobody to worry about until winners finals. It was like, I what is this? <sighs> but, no, but yeah, that cold. was that's kind of like the only. Uh, I mean, unless events want to do like side tournaments for five. I mean, I don't think it's necessarily dead. I think it's just depending on the people and the it's dependent on the people. Yeah, like, so somebody has to be like, you know, I'm about to run these Street Fighter Five tournaments. Y'all want to enter or not? You know, it, a part of me wants to do that, like, like, and it probably would just be like that because again, it is about the dollar because I do have kids. Uh, yeah. like I would, I don't want to be a corrupt CEO because the chat loves corrupt CEO. They love to just spam it. They don't love that guy, but they love to say corrupt CEO. It has been so often. Oh man. For real, you know, TOs that win their own tournaments. <laughs> With TOs that win their own <laughs> tournaments. Oh my god. This guy, really five. this guy wants five so he can go <laughs> win his own money. It, it's it's just a it, it's it's just honey to attract the flies for this hungry spider over here. Mm. Oh my god. Well, hey, man. <laughs> If you if you if you passionate enough, you can make it work. You can definitely right. make it work. I have the yeah. passion. I really do think that it's just such a good game. And then when you look at like the whole roster of characters in five, and just wow, everything is really good. Like these characters look and are really good. Sorry, Ken's head. I don't know what that's about, but I tell you what, I'm really grateful for six. They fixed his head. And doesn't have the 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 drive to be his own goonie guy anymore. He's he has to just be really serious, and I think that's why he's like top something right now. He he he's not allowed to he's not allowed to throw games anymore, or just be like whatever he was in five. Hmm. I like that about six. Like, there's some things in the game where the story really has to force the characters to change and be something. Mm-hmm. I don't like how Chun Li, Chun Li now has like this, mm-hmm. like a sort of a daughter, more like a sister, like a little sister. Will Li Fang? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and has to be like has to be Master Chun Li now that she's distinguished and known for being the strongest woman in the world. Yeah. And it's um, like... Yeah. Part of it makes sense because like everything takes place after thir- uh, Street Fighter 3, which I've been wanting for a long time, but yeah. Go on. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Actually, I mean, I'm still... I, story, I, I do have a is question. Gonna... Oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. You say. Um, in that case... What well I, no you did ask earlier to what like a system mechanic whatever if there's other characters or anything that um you want to see come back for Street Fighter Six that makes you want to come through 
Like, what would it be? It can be a mechanic, it'd be a new oh. ca- a character, or anything else. Or I just want to see what they can. I want to see what they could possibly do for a fighting game because fighting games are just it's just two people fighting, right? It's just two people fighting all the time. What could they mm-hmm. possibly do that feels like something a human being could do in a fight that other human beings could inherently do because they are humans fighting? Like, like I feel like V Shift was. Like, that was the first universal something. Everybody had a V trigger. That was just everybody just gritting their teeth, pumping their muscles, and doing the best thing they could do. Tammy basically was doing more hits in in drills, and Vega threw a rose at you. Like, Mm -hmm. those were crazy. Those were really good. Abigail, he just straight... And said everything he wants to do has a ton of armor on it. Wall bounces. Wall bounces. He just, everything is just a, he's just going to send you somewhere. He's going to really hurt you. Ryu, he just, he's now electrified. Well, Those were crazy. I, mean, I loved it. I mean, yeah, because like, he finally got rid of most of the Sasuke Hado and his soul and whatever. And you no, know, mm-hmm. now like, he's purified. He's great. Right. Okay. Well, wait. So going back to that, um, you say B shift. B shift is the big thing. There was another. There is is currently technically well, makes sense. Another mechanic, defensive, but it's almost not. It, we've been kind of nerfed to where, not to say it don't doesn't matter, but people don't you only use it. Reversal like. Drop V reversal is something that was Street Fighter Five. You have it now in Street Fighter Six. Do you think that um, what about Street Fighter? What about the reversal concept? Like, do you think it should be say the same as it is, like minus eight or whatever on block or whatnot, or do you think that the defensive concept should be um, better? If like for Street Fighter Six. If it would sort of I, attract you to play Street Fighter more. Now, I feel like, and and that's very interesting that you say that, because, like, you go on Twitter and you see people, like, like, want to do some crazy stuff and not block and not be defense. They didn't pay, the. I swear the meme was, I didn't pay $60 to block, and it's like, why not give them the offensive? Yes, I've seen that a lot, yeah. Why not give them why not give them an opportunity to be offensive but use that in a defensive way like like you now you now can like you're blocking or you have to hold something you just like and I guess that's kind of where the V shift came in because now in this situation you just left you just just gone backed out because you didn't want whatever this was but then i guess if if it really does come down to that it really was just it was just drive impact where now it's you were taking something and then you push it forward i think i think that could be good i think drive impact would be good if it wasn't the idea that the drive impact could then get drive impact right back Hmm. Now it's like really? now you're just, now you're just sitting there waiting. In I feel like when I watch high level players, the entire time it is they don't particularly want to do drive impact unless the whole point was to stun you, stun you, wall bounce you. Because if you actually do it, like if you really think to do it, they will just do it right back to you and. And now it's like this mechanic is sitting here exclusively, essentially collecting dust to not do something versus I spent this entire round trying to get my V-Trigger as fast as I could so I can potentially get my V-Trigger again later in the round. Like, and that's the thing that was like really good with this beautiful masterpiece of Street Fighter V. 
some of my favorite topics was to <laughs> I did it for a you. He's not did it for people. you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Was <laughs> I, I know, I know. I'm just being a butt. It's funny. <laughs> oh, he's like, no. Master piece of shit. Oh my I'm, God. I'm taking the shot every time you say that, to be fair. Every time I say yes, the five is the masterpiece. <laughs> God, no, but no, not, no. I respect it because, like, I re- well, I like, know that you had more to say. Um, but I respect it because, like, the thing is that, in general, and we actually had many topics about it in the previous episodes. There, we the honeymoon of Street Fighter Six kind of I feel like is over, probably after September <laughs> or maybe before. Uh-huh. Right, right. Yeah, okay. and, yeah. The honeymoon phase is already over. It right, yeah, so right, 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 and and so people, so we had people that says theme songs. Go for it, go for it. No, go for it. You you had the the really cool theme songs. Everybody mm-hmm. looks cool. We're all trying to learn these fun things. Oh whoa, this guy can do this. What yo DJ's so so all over the place. But uh, yo, look at Minaj. She's doing so. She gets medals that make her do more damage with throws. What that is crazy. What Ken's top tier in. In six, just like he was in three. Yo, this is crazy. Yo, man, this is so good. Wow. And then everything <laughs> settles. And then the yeah. JP players just actually mastered staying the hell away from the guy for the longest time and just kept giving you nonsense after nonsense. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the Lukes kept hitting you with low forward drive rush, hitting you with low strong drive rush and then you didn't have to think about anything it was just it was a ton like the Kimberleys did their did their crazy mix ups at some point I wanted to play Zangief because I thought he was going to be the guy and this was before Snake Eyes did all of he could who who you telling the thing is they consider him still low tier regardless of the fact that he has Tools and mechanics yeah, that helps him. He has loyal fans, and and nobody cares apparently. Like, I watched, I watched Kazunoko fight a really high ranking Zangief, and it was like, oh my god, he's one pixel away, and Kaz has like half of his health. This is a fair fight. Because the the one hit you hit on Zangief, who cares? Because if he survived it and you were wrong, loyal fans, you are now dead with half of your health. Half of your health now turned into a red mare. Like, what happened? What happened there? I just watched, like, last week, I just watched Joe Rogan just show us the power of Luke CA, and I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe that he took 60% from a guy. 60. Homie slipped and Joe, like, fried him. Fried him with the CA. What? I mean, you can slip on a bar so much. No, you do slip on a bar of soap and you did break your neck and you died in the bathroom. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. I mean, oh you get God. punished. It, it hurts. It hurts when you get punished. Yeah, it, hurts. it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts badly. Oh, my God. You know? Oh, my gosh. But I think, we both, I think both games has their own fair share of uh, nonsense going on. And I think that's traditional. Nonsense. That's, that's mm-hmm. the best general. way to describe it nonsense yeah. that's exactly how i was training my guys just telling them you want to give them as much nonsense as possible make sure that the nonsense never is truly discovered from them because they're still trying to think about what the hell just happened and you're giving them a new fix something they never wanted and got and now their mind's all over the place and uh, i gotta stop this somehow so by the third interaction they exdp because they have to because if they don't they're dead, and surprise, you baited it out, and, well, mm-hmm. now, GG, thank you for the points. I won 2-0. Thank you. 
Yeah. And, and you know what? To be fair about the, in the general, in Street Fighter Five, I main G. Mm-hmm. And, of course, you okay. knowing how G is mm-hmm. in, that, in that sense. I love the character because the character was fun. It felt he felt fun, yes. and he was crazy. You know, he 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 wasn't. Mm, Watch your ankles. Bore, yeah, I would say it, borderline right? broken. Maybe, like a lot of stuff about G was really, but I loved how he played. He made Street Fighter Five mm. fun. That's why I like yes. one thing I liked about the game was because of him. But not only that, he also had a personality wise. And there yes. was where, yeah, because I wasn't trying to argue with you that, about, against like Street Fighter Five versus Street Fighter Six, but it was a lot of things that I do miss a few things about Street Fighter Five. I'm a, I'm gonna admit that, but it was where like it was certain things about it. And of course, I played DJ in Street Fighter Six, and I played DJ since Super Turbo, and Street Fighter Four, so. I was like super like excited to see how he is. Yeah, he's technically top five, but and yeah, of course I, going back to I it, was Street Fighter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then like Street Fighter, like but then like playing against Cammy, for example, in general, it's like it's for me. I struggle so much against her, even till now, even even though that you know my character can do a lot against her, it's like Cammy still is a strong character, and she still feel like she's a struggle to deal with. Here and there, but going back to Street Fighter Five, you know, I respect it because like I I have to respect you for standing up for Street Fighter Five, regardless of how currently Street Fighter Six is, the number of people that are playing it right now in comparison, and many other things, and you know, some you know, once in a while I do think about it. You know, I wish, you know, you know what Street Fighter Five would be kind of fun. I would like to play G again, because thing is, what if that character never shows up? It could really change where I could consider Street Fighter Five, you know, maybe. But yeah, I, I just want to say that because this is really interesting that the fact we have someone that's really actually so very supportive and, lo- and loyal to Street Fighter Five, even though in this Ghost Town days. So Ghost Town, Ghost Town, like, like population and three. The population grows on Friday at 7 p.m. because of this tournament, I swear to God. And it's not even, like, it's not even PC players. It's, like, exclusively anybody with a PlayStation. It, it could be a guy that likes to play and prefers to play on PC. They're going to put on the PlayStation, and that is your only opponents. Like, Remember when the tournaments I'm, were larger? I remember, I don't, I don't know I if do. you were there. Remember. Like, uh, I remember. Oh, were you there? Yeah, and it was I like was uh, was forty and fifty. And they had like something. forty and fifty people. There was like was the like, tournament uh, had one hundred and fifty people in there, and that was the thing that like I got third uh, place against one hundred and thirty-five people. Whoa, let's go, yo! I'm so goaded. I'm so good. I'm a lord. Look at that! I that would motivate. Look, that would definitely motivate. Right? Yeah. No, it would make you feel good. It made made me feel like a big man. Now, now it's like you just clock in for work, get your paycheck. And I, then go it, I, re- I really do feel the punch clock. I swear to God, it's a punch clock. Oh yeah. man, check ins at six forty five. You better check in or else. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's let me log into work, and then uh, after it's done, oh okay, well, see you guys next week. Same old, same. Old. Oh, I mean, at least they're doing it, man. You know, they're doing it. I right. even that they're still doing it. It means so much to me. I don't know yeah. when. The- I don't know when the well's gonna run dry, but I wish to get as many of those SF five dollars as I can because it's again easy dollars because of the hours that I put in, because of the dedication, because Cami was so much better back then. Like again, back throw into the corner, stand light kick on your wake up so you get into semi proxy block, and then forward throw you because you're technically are stuck unless you like force an exdp you're stuck and then you get thrown again and then there's oh look there look at that you just took two throws two throws and that was a lot of damage 
a lot of free damage, and then I have the Oki to do something afterward. Hmm. Oh man, especially especially in the last few months, you really saw me never stop pushing buttons. It, like, it's been really button-heavy for me, but it got, like, really, really button-heavy after I got... After I was, like, halfway to Grandmaster. Then everything just started getting... Yeah, the press buttons. Like you're supposed it. to press buttons. You press, you gotta right. press, you gotta press buttons. Gotta press. Gotcha. My favorite was when you know this guy is so antsy, so, like, hot under the collar, he needs to do something right away. Round two. Fight. Operation start. Start of the round. CA. Just... Round start CA is crazy. <laughs> round start CA is not Round start CA, CA is, is crazy. crazy. You you know that you like one this guy has to feel bad because he's probably embarrassed that he just got start of the round CA probably on some guy's stream. That one's that one's hard to take, and then mm. it's like the way I see it after that is okay. You just blew all of your CA just now. Everything you get after this is exclusively like just gravy. Any additional hits. Those are now, like, you went from going from three bars to, like, another another three bars if you're, like, that cautious. Yeah, because you didn't get it back. Then you probably get it back the same round. Yeah. Same round. I see A to die twice in one round. Bro, that is crazy. How do you do that? that that's nuts. How, how, how are you going to tell me to stop playing that game? Come on. Well, I mean, we know no, why I'll, now. I mean, we got we you answered all of the, all of the questions, you know, as to why. So now we know. So if people are listening I'm to the rebroadcast, now you can know. Well, all I'm saying yeah. is, SF Five was a masterpiece, and how am I supposed to just go to uh, lukewarm? Go to lukewarm. I don't like lukewarm. My play on words because <laughs> Luke's there and yeah, and he's I hot. We, so I see what you did there. Right, I see exactly what you did there. That's why I, I am I, here still. Yes, I wanted you to see. Like I wanted you to see that I like to come up with good, fun ideas for for things that could be good. <sighs> hmm. Really grateful for this day. Thank you, man. I'm so happy to have this chat. I guess it's like just talk about my very strong feelings for this game. Like, it was, do you remember those really high res pictures that Capcom released of all the characters in their like natural web uh, stages? You got the Ryu one, you got the Mika one, you got the Colleen one, you got the Kami one. The Cammy one where she's just posing on her English manner. Every yeah. time I say masterpiece, that's what I'm looking at. Every single time in that's my head. Just, that, that, that's the that, masterpiece. That's that's, that's her. She, she looks great. The mm. stage looks great. This reminds me of great. It's all great. All great. All great. Okay. If, I definitely if, had some, uh, you, some interesting takes. Definitely with some crazy takes. Now, I I do look at it through other from potentially other characters' perspectives and other players' mentalities, and I can understand that they could easily not agree or think I'm just crazy. But if you were ever top one, if you were ever top one, and you felt top one, and you got praised like you were top one, you're gonna think you're gonna think differently. You're gonna, you're gonna think and feel things so much differently. Like, remember when Tammy had her had her range on her throws nerfed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. They had to do yeah. that. They had to do that. Could you imagine, Holy. like, all of today with that? I swear, if they ever released Omega mode for. For uh, five and giving you like the season selection, 
to pick what season you would be playing, I'd be playing season one candy. Did I lose a lot of stuff? Yes. I can DP all day. Like, not... There's your you B-Shot. Fine. Have that. Right? Just start just DPing everything for nothing. Like, sure, you can get the risk, but the chances are, are you going to stop blocking in time, or are you going to take this DP that's going to blow up anything you want to do? Shit. That's, why they had to break it. that's why they had to break down the invincibility to lights beat throws, mediums beat anti-airs, heavies beat fireballs. Because in season one, you just did the one brainless DP and you just blew up everything. And it worked. And it just, and it just cleared out everything. As a oh my god. The... <laughs> As a G man, I have I, those reversals, I, so I think... can't say anything. I know, right? And I feel sorry for the, the G's, the Loras, the the Mika's, the, the Poisons. Uh, who else was there? Uh... Y- Urian was crazy. Your, 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 yeah, Urian was Urian in season one. Oh yeah, no Urian was bonkers. That I remember when originally his name was Orphan Crippler. Like it was a grand finals against him. Oh no, trust me. And 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 I'm a candy player, so obviously. Well, no, she has a dad, but the dad's a piece of shit. So I don't know. It doesn't feel like she has a dad. Oh man, like that guy broke my spirit. There's a picture on my old laptop. It's just him giving me before Nemo did it, it was just his handshake. And I'm my hand? dead in my chair. Like dead in my chair. That's what it was like. And and then he wants to shake my hand. Like he, he destroyed my character in the game and destroyed me. IRL, like wow, that was Urian. That was that was the call of Urian back in the day. You just had you just had to remember your Aegis setups and your mixes, and and I promise you, you would be fine. And then they yeah, and then yeah. they and then they took his balls. They took the they took the invincibility off of the EXTP, the headbutt, mm-hmm. the EX headbutt. Oh man. My man never looked the same again. That one, that one change, changed the whole. That changed. That man, <laughs> lost, he he lost respect. They didn't take away his EXDP. They took away his respect. That was the thing he did. That's the thing to make Yuri look like Yuri. That's what he was known for. That's what the character that was known for. <laughs> EX, EX head button wake up. Every he time. can't say that no more. You can't do it. Just get nope. blown up. Whew, what a sad time. Hmm. I mean, it was so better for me go. than the one less character, but like. So which character? Do you, what, what characters? Uh, as of uh, January twenty twenty four, who are your top three and bottom three in Street Fighter Five right for you? Oh boy, top three, bottom. Um, like, could could Mika be there? Like, is he actually there? Because like, it just feels like it's Tay at this point. Because like, I mean, I feel like I mean that's the only that's the only Mika we're fighting. <laughs> that's, that's the, the only, only Mika, Mika we're fighting. fighting. And then and then I fight like any other. Like that's it. Like, Flux, you're really good, and I respect you so much. Congratulations on your latest win. You do know that you were, like, one H- I gave you one HP. One HP. And I fucked up. If I that did, one that one HP was a KO, my man. That one, that one mistake that then let you get more damage on me gave you an opportunity to do so much more. What was that, that? that was a fifty dollar, fifty fifty dollar drop. Yeah, that was a was fifty like, dollar drop. Yeah, that was a fifty dollar. Whoops. 
Oh man, it's so like it's really hard to say if it's Mika. It's like the man's just making me feel bad daily. But it's like I think that's just I think that's just a player diff. I, yeah, probably just a player player matchup based thing at this point. Now, I, well, whoever's left point, over, who's ever left over is playing. Hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. My hot take: I think Ryu's really, really. Really, really good in the especially in the right hands because like he has so many parries with explosive damage. Um, I'm just gonna be a narcissist and say number one is Kami. Like she just even after they have to nerf they have to nerf them somehow. So by receiving this nerf, we had to lower that skill. But the point is the character still is. Full skill the whole time. Um, hmm. Right, it's Luke. I'm sorry. I don't know where the hell I was. It's Luke. Luke, top one. He's oh, the yeah. only character I, mean... I can think of right now that like just consistently beats Cammy, which is more times than I want him to. That character I mean, was like, made to be good. No, uh, yeah, it was it designed to be good. To promote six. Yeah. And of course, you see how he is now. <laughs> Especially now. Yeah. Luke in uh, Super I, I, 6. I, 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 he can't afford to be top. He can't afford to be low tier. He can't. He just can't afford it. He's the, everybody too much marketing. marketing. Like exactly. He's too much marketing. He's the only guy on the cover of the thing. Like, yeah. It kills me because it's like I look at Luke, and everybody in that game is fighting, and then Luke is also fighting. But then at some point he pulls out an AR-15, which is his V trigger, and just <laughs> I swear to God, I see that in Fortnite. And also, he I had that unique it. system too. His V trick didn't run out it, and unless he used it or he got hit. This should have actually had him in Fortnite. That should have been hilarious. Yes, I play three games it's Street Fighter V, Overwatch, and Fortnite. And I'm goaded in all of them. Well, not as much as Fortnite. I, it, Fortnite requires more practice and timing, but like. Overwatch, uh, I'm very glad in that nice time frame where I had more time to play, I was able to get Grandmaster and Top 500 in Overwatch. That was crazy. No, I was, I was doing a lot in my few games. I don't play anything else. Like, I, I'd like to... I guess what I'm trying to do for my streams in the future... If I could ever get the chance, because again, most of my dollars go to my sons. I would love to get a PC to let me stream better, stream a little bit more quality. So that way I could inevitably do like single player Sundays where I would then just play like single player games. I want to I want to do a complete uninterrupted stream of Kingdom Hearts because you can't do that on PlayStation because um Disney, being Disney, you're not allowed to get the story. You're allowed to go buy it and then go get your story yourself that way. No, I want to just stream this game and do that for do that for my entertainment for my audience. And then I want to play like Yakuza, like finish that one and play other single player games and have fun. We can all have fun. But for the most part, it really is just these three games that I really care about. But five is the truest money maker here, where it's it's just play a really broken character. I mean, Cammy's also in Fortnite too, so you know. Oh no! Try the, the very first day, the very first day I got Cammy in Fortnite. It was day one of her release. I won that first game. Really. That was the you best. Won the first, you won Fortnite with the Kami skin. The, 
bought the cami skin. Let's drop. Where are we landed, boys? I respect it. Victory Royale. They didn't, they didn't know the matchup. They didn't know the matchup. Yeah, that's they didn't. They, they did won. not know the matchup. I was just, I was just cami theming the whole time. They were not ready for my <laughs> movement. They were not ready. Oh my gosh. <laughs> then you jumped out of the, the bus. You did hooligan. You did right, hooligan. right out of the bus. It was a hooligan. They were not ready. No oh hooligan. my gosh. <laughs> what a, what a good time. Good time. Peak, peak gaming. Yeah, I appreciate you for uh, for stopping by, man. Uh, we we're getting on that two hour mark here and getting ready to wrap it up uh, for the podcast for episode nine. So thank you again for your skittles for taking your time out to to speak with us. Uh, before we move on to our ad, is there anything else you wanted to talk about, or looks like we're good to go? Um, I guess I just want to give an excellent shout out to all of you and give a shout out to my personal community. I want to thank everybody for the love and the support, caring about me. I honestly, at this point, I'm really just trying to entertain all of you because you guys keep me going. And and after a long day, after a long week of working and being a father of two, like you just want to sit down and unwind and pretend you're a celebrity. And that's so much fun. That is so much fun. I love it. I Thank love you. to entertain. That's why I'm here today. I really just wanted to entertain. I just wanted to try and be funny. I wanted to be a, a good guy with fun opinions. My whole yeah. my whole yeah. stream, like the way I run it, the whole thing, I'm trying to be entertaining through immaculate gameplay and quality jokes. That's that's the game. I try to educate and try to be informative and fun. Respect. Okay. Well, you do. We do appreciate you for taking your time out to to come talk with us once again. But uh, thanks to Retro, we got some uh, some uh-huh. ads coming up. What we got coming? What we got going on? The song we've. Whew. So um, for sure. Um, we're going to have some events very, very soon, to be honest. Um, starting tomorrow, <clears throat> we are going to officially have our first um, Street Fighter Six online tournament. Um, first online tournament in a while, since um, probably two, three years ago. So we'll be hosting it then um, tomorrow at 8 p.m. So all the online events will be at 8 p.m., um, and it won't be exactly bi-weekly, but at least two weeks of the of each month we will have online events. And of course, it'll be Street Fighter. All the platforms are allowed. And of course, you see the details there. That is Wi-Fi wired only. Um, of course, check out our social media about um, a Reboot Retro Gaming. Do it. all the social media presented there of all the details, the links to the registration and the match arena. Excuse me. And it's free to enter. So definitely, if you have not entered yet and have not um, joined the um, Discord, please free do so. We'll be running everything from there mostly. So definitely ch- tune in, and let's see what I have next. Also, of course, even seeing the new graphics has happened um, too. We will have our February tenth tournament. Um, it will be our reboot monthly. For Smash Brothers, Guilty Gear, Tekken 8, and Street Fighter 6. And, of course, uh, thanks to the sponsors featured there. And, of course, uh, you see the time where everything starts and how much everything costs in the location. This is the last reboot tournament before our tournament finals in the um, Cherry Blossom event that will be happening <clears throat> at Easy Kai, which will be... I'll close up a little bit more. That will be on March 16th to 17th. Um, next um, two months, about two months from now, less two months. But $300 for each game presented um, for the main games Street Fighter, Tekken, Good to Gear, Smash. And then we'll have other games that will be featured at size events as far as like fighting games like Grand Blue, Marvel, um, Mortal Kombat. 
and of course stuff like uh, NBA 2K also be featured to reach out to other audiences outside of fighting games. So definitely tune into that. And last but not least. I would like to have, um, of course, Mr. Shadow Ace to explain more details about the max mode. And, of course, we're getting close to that date as well because it uh, happened in March as well. So, I'll let you take, take yeah. over that. Yeah, so this is uh, you know, this is our max mode event, this big premiere event going down in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, hosted by the Data FGC crew. And with the uh, available partners and affiliates on that, vendors, um, all types of activities in the surrounding area to get to. A lot of good restaurants in the area to check out too as well. Um, I will, of course, be there in present uh, at that event. Hopefully, you'll be commentating some Street Fighter VI. Um, running into some side events too as well. Street Fighter Four, Street Fighter Five, um, and uh, things of that nature. So Max Mode is in March. A uh, big major here in Atlanta, Georgia. So if you guys want more information, you can check out the uh, data at Twitter, the Twitter page at data FGC uh, to get more information. It has the link there to the start.gg link to sign up uh, for that event. Variety of different games. Tekken 8 just released. So of course, Tekken 8 is, is with Tekken being the Mecca here in Atlanta. You already know that event is about to be crazy uh, for sure. A lot of out of town guests, even out of country guests are scheduled to attend this event as well. So uh, this is just gonna be a big collaboration project to make sure it's gonna be running smooth and uh, stay tuned for more details in regards to that event. Excuse me. <clears throat> there we go. As you can see, we have merchants. We have merchandise. It's starting to happen. And I posted about it. And just as a teaser to see what was going on, people responded. So, Shadow Ace, where the good, good people can find you to contact you about this good merchandise of this hat and maybe for a few other more things. All right. Well, just in the production, uh, just in a teaser phase at the moment. Um, nothing mainstream as of just yet, but if you guys are interested in picking up one of these I Got Next uh, hats here, definitely contact me on Twitter at Mind of Shadow Ace, or hit me up on Discord too as well. I mean the Making uh, FGC Discord. Uh, you can also message me. Uh, they're about 30, 30 bucks USD. So if you want one, just message me. Um, as far as getting a vendor to mass produce them and get more out. Uh, something later on down the line, just for right now, we're just, you know, just taking it easy and just trying to see how this works out. And if it does get to a level where like, yo, I, I need to get the, the, I need to get the gear, then maybe we can see about reaching out to a uh, vendor and going from there. But for right now, this is just, you know, um, I just tested it out with this guy, uh, this vendor. He said he, you know, I'll do a good job. He did a great job. The production on this. It's, it's really high quality. I like it. Very worth the price, too, as well. So, again, if you want to get you one of the hats, uh, definitely hit me up. But, uh, yeah, that'll be it. Yep, and I believe that's all for the announcements for today. Um, and, of course, if you did want to promote anything for your Skittles that you have in your end for the can Canadian scene, just let me know. Um, if, or you can say it here. And I can d definitely um, promote it or get find a poster, or give me a poster, and I'll promote it for you. And for the most part, it's mostly just me. Like, I I have my scene, but it's they're all playing six. And if anything, I will give I will give my shout outs to Incendium Gaming. They were definitely the guys that were there for me when I was growing up and making my way in the FGC. But mostly it's just me 
running my stream at Fierce X Skittles. Just Fierce X Skittles, and that's Skittles with a Z at the end. Okay. We play we play our games as often as we can. Always, always hit that bell icon because that way you can know when the streams are happening, and then you can get all that good SF Five goodness that you want to see. Because I promise you, when I play Five, I play with the intent to do some crazy shit to get this dub. <laughs> and it's always a blast. Do you stream your um? Do you stream your PlayStation runs? Um. You know what? I've been doing that lately, and that's something that a lot of people like. If if they didn't see the tournament, I just save all the matches. Don't show like the the way the way they came out, and then we just watch them all. Just every match that of the tournament, it's it's a lot of fun. Brings in a good audience, and people get to see the how the money is made. Yeah, I thought, I thought I was like I was wondering if you did stream it, but because if you did, I was like, yeah, that'd be a good way to like I guess promote the the event is to yeah just stream your run and then people are like oh well we do you sign up and you know I got a PlayStation and how do you sign in and stuff like that so and they'll get exactly. more people in so that's always that's always a good thing. It is like I I yeah, want you know, the it's like, It forces me to be better. Yeah, I want to be better. Otherwise, so yeah. Yeah, because otherwise when you just, win, you know, you're just playing cruise like control. Yeah, you're not really. Oh yeah, you don't want to be completely. Yeah. You don't want to be completely stagnant. Yeah. It makes it it that that'll help you and yeah. reduces the hype. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, with that being said, once again, thank you, Fierce Skittles, for taking time out of your Sunday to talk to us about some Street Fighter Five and some Street Fighter Six, and you know we do appreciate you. Hopefully, we can get you back on a future episode. Uh, for sure, later on down that. the line, and see if anything changes. Um, mm -hmm. But I do thank you again. Um, do you have any um, any shout out? Well, you already did shout outs. I'm sorry. Do you, where could the good people find you at if they wanted to follow you? Uh, the best way to follow me, honest to goodness, is on my Twitch at fiercexskittles.twitchtv. It's the best way you're going to see, you're going to be able to find me. It's it's how I it's how I contact many. That's how I really do it. I'm I'm trying to come up with like I want to try and have like more FGC outlets, but as as of right now, the best way you can be there is to just show up at my streams because that's where I'm going to be live with a camera and a mic, and we can chat, we can talk, we can learn, we can grow. The amount of people that have grown and been so good because they hang out with me. I'm so proud of all these wonderful people that wanted to do more and be more and see more. And they and they did it by hanging out with me. It means a lot. Their success is then becomes my success. Especially for you Cammy players out there. Especially Cammy beings. Okay. Well, with that, that being said, definitely uh, good stuff, man. Much success in your journey. Uh, and uh, we'll see what the future lies for. Uh, but for right now, um, Sir Retro, where can the, uh, the good people check you out at? Well, you can find me pretty much virtually anywhere. Um, Facebook, uh, Twitter. Instagram, Discord, be anything. Uh, so Retro08 is usually the namesake. And of course, Kirk or Kirk Nutt Jr. on Facebook. But definitely, um, Sir Retro08 is my gamer tag. Ultimately, you can find me anywhere, anytime, any place. I will try to, my best to respond to everything. And of course, uh, that's where you guys can reach out to me. And of course, you know, you guys here on my tw Twitch. So, Pretty much is a big hint of where you can find me, but yeah, shout outs to everyone here. Shout outs to um Fierce at Skittles for showing showing us about how Street Fighter 5 is still a game that you should be playing to this very day. 
this is was a really good, interesting, eye-opening um, discussion about it. And definitely shout out to Shadow Ace for um, beginning this series for street, with the podcast many years ago. And now we are in season three, episode nine. You know, I'm excited Ooh. that we are keep it going. You know, featuring amazing special guests like this one right here, right now. So definitely, um, shout out to y'all guys. Shout out to the, F- the military FTC. Y'all guys are growing and getting stronger. Shout out to the Georgia FTC as a, as a whole and all the homies in the FTC in general. So thank you guys for, and the homies in the chat, thank you as always always for supporting us and being here with us so hopefully yes that's it shout out can contact him for the merchandise situation hopefully they will have more um happen in the near future if not the um, later future but yes definitely definitely shout out to y'all all right for sure man thank you guys so much for tuning in and checking out episode nine of the street fighter i got next podcast Episode 10, already in the works. Already in the works, man. And we're going to be talking with the champion who just won uh, Faust and Faustus for his game. That's all I can say. It's not him. It's going to be the, it's going to be somebody else for a different game. If you were, if you were thinking Punk. No, nah, it's not Punk, but it's going to be someone else. But uh, I'm excited to have them on for Episode 10. But uh, this will be archived. Uh so Retro will have it up usually by 12 noon, the next business day uh, here for the for those who missed the live broadcast or came in a bit late in the episode, uh, for sure. We'll tag in uh, Fish Skittles on that post, too, as well. Make sure he can check it out. But this has been it. This has been Street Fighter. I got next broadcast. Uh, this has been Shadow Ace. It's a Retro for your Skittles. Thank you guys so much for taking your time out of your Sunday once again. Uh, Retro, where are you going to send us off to? <laughs>